the next uh, example I'm going to discuss is a situation where you need to copy data from one cube to another. So, you know, depending on how your model's constructed, um, the more rules or you know that you have, you have cube dependencies. Um, you know, depending on uh, user activity, you might have frequent cache and validation. So there's there's times when you're going to want to copy the data rather than have it be um, rule based. Uh, one a common example is when you set up a reporting cube. Um, the best practice is to have a, a cube where essentially you've um, eliminated um, all or most of the rules and so that all of the, the values, the roll-ups are being um, calculated via consolidations and not through rules. So, um, so that's sort of the use case I'm going to use for this uh, demonstration, but it would apply basically to any t situation where you want to copy data from one cube to another. So the method that we're going to use is a link uh, which is a, a capability that was introduced uh, with Performance Modeler. And so this allows you basically to um, map data from a source cube uh, to a target cube and um, basically implement it. Instead of implementing it as a rule, you can set the link impl implementation type to process. And then it will generate a process for you that um, copies the data from the source cube to the target cube. Um, so when you do, let me just um, actually make one point on that last slide. If you notice um, on the mappings, the arrows have, uh, there's some cases where the arrows are blue and there's some cases where the arrows are green. A blue arrow indicates that it is an automatic match meaning that any value on the source um, that matches the target will get copied. And so if I were to add a retailers to the retailer dimension, I wouldn't have to edit this link. It's going to pick those up automatically and copy the data. A green arrow is a manual match, meaning that there is a specific mapping here of what you want to copy from the source to the target. Um, the source and the target might have the same names or codes or they might be different. So you can define that mapping as you wish. The key point here is when you have an automatic um, mapping or automatic match, when you generate the process, it is going to create a parameter in that process for each one of these dimensions. And so in so doing that, anytime you run it, uh, you can specify um, either to copy all the data or to copy specific slices of the data. And so <clears throat> the way this is going to work is you would, after you set up your link, you'll right click and you'll generate the process. Uh, as I just mentioned, then you will get a parameter for each dimension with an automatic match. And then you have, when you run the process, you have three uh, options. You can leave the parameter blank, which means it's going to copy all of the elements. You can input or enter or pass uh, a single element, which would limit it to that specific element. So let's say that uh, a user is entering data for a single department you could pass that department as a parameter. So rather than copying all the data, it's just going to copy data for the one particular department um, where updates were being made. The other thing is you can um, enter the, the string subset colon and then put in a subset name. And then in this situation, it will copy uh, data for all of the elements in the subset. So very powerful feature to um, provide a lot of flexibility in how you move data from one cube to another. So what this looks like when you run the process um, is, like as I mentioned, all the dimensions 
uh, with an automatic uh, match are going to have a parameter, you can leave some or all of the param parameters blank. In this first example, I set the budget to one specific element, and I set the country and region dimension to a subset. And so the result then, when I run it, um, is that only budget version one gets updated, and only the Europe uh, cells get updated. So, uh, so you can see <clears throat> it's one link, it generates one process, but it gives you the ability to um, copy data in total or for any specific slice um, leveraging uh, subsets uh, if, if you wish to. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so I'll just open the link here briefly. So if I highlight um, retailers, it's the blue arrow. If I fly over that, you can see it says automatic mapping. The uh, mappings get populated automatically based on which ones uh, are in common on both the source and the target. So this is all grayed out. I can't edit these mappings. And then contrast that where here you set these mappings up. You can like drag from the source to the target or you can add, populate this um, mapping table in the middle uh, directly uh, when you set the link up. The other key thing that I mentioned under properties is there's a link implementation type. So the choices are rules and process. The default is rules. I changed it to process uh, when I created a, and saved the link. So I'll close that. So once you have the link, then you this menu option when you right click is available to generate the process. And so when you execute that, um, you get a process with the same name as the link. Okay, so let me open up the target cube. I've got a view here. So right now, the cube is empty. Uh, I've or, uh, changed the orientation so you can see the uh, regions in the row position and my versions going across the top. Um, at the context area, it's just set at the first element, franchise store. We're looking at gross revenue the roll-up of all retailers and the roll-up of, of time. Um, but I can, you know, I could set these uh, to any combination that I, that I wish. So I'm going to right-click the process, say execute. It's going to pop up my parameter window. Now I'm running this manually. This could be called by another process where, where you actually pass the parameters based on um, either inputs or uh, values that are stored somewhere else in the model. So for the version, I'm going to put budget version 1. And for country and region, I'm going to use subset colon. And then I've created a subset on that dimension named Europe that has Europe and the uh, elements underneath it. So I will go ahead and click OK. It's going to execute the process. And then in a moment here, it refreshes. And you can see that the data came across for budget version 1, Europe. And I guess just to show that I wasn't this wasn't smoke and mirrors. Uh, you can see that there is data in my source cube for all the regions. And budget version 2 has data. So the source cube had a fully populated cube. But in this case, only a slice of that data uh, came across because I limited um, the selection based on the parameters that, that I entered there.